African Warriors Fighting Championship back with more Dambe action. Let's go round one. We have Chindo Jr. in the green and we have Alta Ali Kanimbelo in the red. Chindo Jr., the young prospect, hot prospect from the Chindo lineage in Dambe, his elder brother Chindo Sr., a very well respected Dambe fighter. And then we have Ali Kanimbelo Jr., also Alta Ali Kanimbelo, also coming from a big Dambe lineage. So a very exciting fight. Chindo opening up with some body shots. Chindo does the body shots very well, works the body very well. So he's just circling his opponent, circling Bello. Very confident with the big high guard, as you can see. Very much showing this is my house. Nice body shot there lands for Chindo out to Ali Kanimbelo. Lands with a punch back also. Both men in the center of the arena. High guard from Chindo, as you can see. Bello looking a bit concerned to me, just very quick on his feet. I want him to stand his ground. I want him to... Oh, and he lands a good shot, just as I say it. So big punch there for Bello. Chindo wears that punch well, is pressing forward with his own shots. Looking supremely confident as always. Bello himself doesn't look like the occasion's getting to him. Looks like he's calmed down a bit. He was looking a bit jumpy for me at the, the beginning of the fight. So both men just watching intently. Chindo again pressing forward. Has Bello on the back foot again. Bello coming forward with some quick punches. Chindo with a response. Overhand there for Bello. Another overhand. Chindo just mirroring his movements, mirroring Bello's movements there. Holding the center of the arena. Nice body shot. Bello responds with a shot to the head also. Nice overhand for Bello. Chindo responds with a straight punch. Body shot again for Chindo. We are fighting here, both men in the arena, in the center of the arena now, clinched up, fight out of the clinch, both men swinging punches. And that is the end of that. End of the first round. So here we have Chindo with some body shots. Then we have Bello pressing forward with another hand. Chindo responds, Bello does well to get out of the way. That overhand for Bello, who threw that multiple times this fight, as you can see, throws it twice there. Chindo with that body shot, which he also threw multiple times. There's a body shot again. There's an overhand. There's a straight punch there for Chindo. It always impresses me in Dambi how you can see the variety of shots that can be thrown with one hand. And here's a great example overhand, straight punches, body shots close quarters dirty boxing style punches there's a big variety a big wealth in punches that can be thrown by an experienced dambi practitioner so chindo in the corner there back in the center of the arena always looks quite nonchalant quite quite confident bello <laughs> drying himself off on the referee's t-shirt <laughs> so let's see in this second round Who's able to really stamp their authority? Round two, let's go. Chindo back in the center of the arena. I'd love to see Bello be more aggressive, not moving forward, backward so quickly. Stay in the middle, fight your ground, stand your ground. Punching off the back foot is, al is always very difficult and I think Bello is showing us that. It's hard to mount a significant offense when you're moving backwards. So Chindo just Pressing forward with this level of confidence is making it so much more difficult for Bello. So Chindo, as I said, pressing forward. Both men swinging punches. Chindo with some big, heavy body shots there. Pushes him off. Goes after him. Bello lands a quick punch on the break. Chindo just walking him down. You can just see this man is not scared. Bello with a nice overhand, to be fair. But as I said, stand your ground, young man. Stand your ground and fight. Bello with the overhand there. So circling out, showing that you can land punches on the move. But ultimately, for you to land a significant fight ending punch, you need to ground your feet and really push through. So Chindo with a nice shot there, just following Bello, just landing punches. Bello is getting some shots off, but nothing that is making Chindo stop in his tracks. You can see, look how quickly he's moving, circling out. 
Movement is great. I'm not saying be a standing target, but just make your opponent think that this man is here and meeting my violence with, with violence also. And just as it looked like Bello was about to stand his ground, that's the end of that second round. So here we just have Bello landing a punch after jumping backwards, but Chindo very much pressing forward, pressing the action, looking supremely confident. Some short punches there for Bello in the clinch, but nothing of real significance. See Chindo just push Bello off of him, come back with his own shots. There's some great movement from Bello there, just getting out of the way. Very good evasive movement on show at times from the man in red. Chindu just going after him. Lands a nice punch there, just misses that punch. So in this last round, round three, let's go. Who can cap it off? To me, Chindu's body language has definitely been the body language of somebody winning. Bello has, has done well. He's not really worn, you know, heavy, heavy punches. But he hasn't really done well to land any good punches because he's been so concerned with movement. So as you can see him circling out again, just trying to ensure he's not in on the wrong end of any shots. Chindo's smiling dangerously. <laughs> Chindo just there, both men in the center of the arena. Chindo very calm, quiet. Bello just with quick movement. Chindo with another body shot that seemed to rock Bello slightly, or maybe that was a slip. Both men, oh, Bello presses it forward, overhand. Chindo says, okay, give me more. <laughs> Chindo inching forward can see that punch just ready there waiting both men swinging shots in the clinch there Melo good not allowing himself to be bullied throwing his own punches back nice shot lands on the side of the head for Bello good movement from Bello there moves on overhand Chindu just still pressing forward both men in the clinch nice body shots there for Bello landing circling out Chindu needs to cut off better you can't just follow your opponent around cut off the arena Chindu just landing some punches, Bello in the clinch, lands a few, pushes him off. Chindu with another shot, both men in the clinch, Bello with some furious punches there. Chindu still coming forward, Bello responding with his own shots. Bello saying, come on, let's go. Good for him, Bello wants to be in this fight. He's ready to go, it's the f final round. Overhand punch, spins out there. Chindu is still the sort of a... Uh, very stoic, very confident looking. Bello with an overhand, spins out quickly, sp slips slightly. Chindo is always right there. As soon as Bello moves, Chindo is right there. He doesn't go anywhere. And you can see he's throwing punches with bad intentions. Both men in the clinch, both men swing some punches at each other. And this is my point about Chindo cutting off Bello. Don't just follow him. Think about where he's going to be. Go there first make it that much more difficult for him to escape you. And fair play to Bello, he's kept up a good pace in terms of movement for this entire fight. Not easy at all, still showing that movement. Chindo might be getting a bit frustrated it seems. Still following him, still following him. Lands a punch and he goes down, lands a punch to the side of the head. Looked like a slight push to be honest. But this is traditional Danby rules. First man to touch the ground is the loser. Bello is obviously very unhappy about that. So here we just have both men in the clinch landing punches. Bello with some nice shots to the ribs of Chindo. Some overhands there for, for Bello there. Chindo throwing his, his long punches, looking for that knockout, looking for that finishing moment. Bello with that great movement that he's really shown he can move around the arena. He's very comfortable on his bike. So here's the first punch. Here's the second punch. And that's almost wraps around the head. And I think it did. It was a fair knockdown, actually. Just wrapped around the side of his head. Slightly affected his equilibrium and he goes down. 
So that's a victory for the man in green, for Chindo Jr. As you can see, Bello very annoyed by that. But that's a victory, fair and square. This is Danby. As always, follow us at African Warriors FC Instagram, TikTok, African Warriors Fighting Championship, YouTube, Facebook. We'll see you next time.